Oh my gosh, what's up? Hey guys, so September has officially come to an end, which means that October is here, and I don't know about you, but I'm super, super excited. October is one of my favorite months, and I'm a big sucker for Halloween and being able to dress up and just, I love embracing everything about October. That being said, today's video is my wrap up of September. I actually read quite a bit of books in September, which honestly, I personally was kind of surprised. I really was not expecting to read this much, but it is what it is. So. I read a total of 12 books this September, which is just, to me, that feels like a lot. That, 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 that is a lot. In that 12, I read one physical book, I guess, three graphic novels, and all of the rest are ebooks. For today's video, I'm just going to kind of give you guys the titles that I read, and if I really thought that they were significant, um, I'll try and give you guys a little summary and just like really point them out to you guys. That being said, let's get into it. The first book that I read this September was Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Um, I did a whole review on this book. I will link that down below. This book was phenomenal. If you guys haven't read it, please go and do so. Um, let me just put it this way. I loved this book so much, I got a tattoo, um, which I also have a vlog too of me getting that, um, and I will also link that down below. This book has is just, it's life changing. Um, this was the first book that I've really like fallen in love with since the Percy Jackson series, if that says anything. Um, so, you know, this this book holds a special place in my heart. All of these characters are phenomenal. I love Lee Bardugo. I could go on and on about this book, but I won't. So I'm just going to say that I read this book. You guys should go read it. Check out my review. Check out my vlog. Yes. The next three books that I read were graphic novels. That was the first three volumes of Saga. This has actually, this was a really popular um, graphic novel from what I've heard and it deserves the hype. It's really really interesting and really good. The, um, the art is phenomenal. I love the characters and I love the world that we're introduced to. In the first book we're introduced to this world where this planet and this moon are at war and a soldier from the planet and a soldier from the moon they fall in love with each other and they run off they have a kid and it's their story and it's told from the kid's point of view which i think is just i love that i love that it's told from not necessarily like an adult's point of view it's very um i don't you just you get to know the kid even when you don't really know the kid and it's just a really great point of view like i'm glad that it was that was the one that they picked to tell the story um <laughs> let me just blabble on um but yeah so it's this really interesting story i'm excited to read the next four i think there's a total of seven volumes out volumes out um i have the fourth and the fifth one already rented from my library and I will get the sixth and seventh one so hopefully I'll actually read those books in October who knows though um, yeah so that was this okay the next couple books if they're super interesting I will stop and I will explain them otherwise I like kind of spew off titles at you guys and hopefully you might check them out um, so the next book I read was Slave by Sherry Haynes then I read Never Let You Go by Katie Ragnieri. The next book was actually a children's book, Princess Charlotte and the Pea by Sally Haynes. I actually really enjoyed this story and it actually sparked a story idea of my own and I think that's what I'm going to be writing for NaNoWriMo. So maybe I'll give you guys some more information on that. The next book I read is Head in the Game by Lily Cahill. Then I read Meant to Be by Lam... Lorami Briscoe? Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. The next book I read was also a children's book called Harry Spooky Surprise and this one was very cute. Um, it wasn't necessarily like super good but the drawings were cute and 
It was just a story. It was just a kid's story. Nothing really like special about it. The next book I read is Taming Teddy by Lucy Lennox. And the last book I read is The Royal Treatment by Melanie Summers. I actually really enjoyed this um, romance novel. It's about this political writer who shits on the royal family um, of whatever country she lives in, I forget. And the royal family is actually having troubles with their popularity and the prime minister is trying to get them to not be the royal family anymore. I don't, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh, but so like the pri prime minister is trying to attack the royal family and make them not like empower anymore. And so the current prince invites this political writer to come and live with him because he wants her to figure out the real them and it's really good it probably goes exactly how you think it's gonna go um, but it was a fun read the characters are very sassy and funny and it was just a nice view on royalty and also you know that that view between royalty and the public and how some of the public views royalty and it was just a really nice um, political romance novel. Um, but yeah, that is it for my September readings. Um, I had a lot of fun reading these books. Um, I'm so glad I picked up Six of Crows. Yet again, go check it out, you guys. It's phenomenal. I will link my thoughts in my vlog of all of that down below. So go check those out. Um, tell me what you guys read this September. I'd love to hear. Maybe I'll get some new ideas for what to read uh, in a couple months. Um, that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you.